prophet T.B. Joshua, founder of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, was confirmed dead on Sunday, June 6. Born June 12, 1963, this man of God was characterized as Nigeria's most charismatic pastor and televangelist. The most reverend man of God was well known across Africa, Latin America and Asia. Often described as YouTube's most popular pastor, this man of God has a huge following on social media. Today I am out here to get reactions about his death. Come along with me, my name is Imar Lion. A great man of God, his, his, his death is, his, it came as a shock to many Nigerians because he is not the kind of person that we need to lose at this critical time when things are not really moving fine in Nigeria and you can know the kind of help is given to the downtrodden. I, I was really sad, like I, I tear up yesterday because C.P. Joshua is a man we all love so much. He's a giver and he's one of the kindest pastors I've ever met. Like he's so kind and he, 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 he gives a lot to the society, even more than the government. He's a very good man and his death really, it really made me tear up yesterday. Like I was really sad. So sad. Uh, sadness meets with joy. Sadness in the sense that we will not see him again. Joy in another sense, is going to be with the Lord. Because he's been a great man of God. Hmm? Known all over the world. Solving people's problems. Healing the sick. Delivering the oppressed. And making Nigeria proud. So receiving the news was, it was, it really shocked me, if I may use the word. Oh, the only thing I know about him is that uh, the area of his... Uh, Philanthropy, where the people that benefit from his good deed, if other leaders, short leaders can do like that. I, I, I received that uh, his past away, his death, as a root shock uh, uh, with full surprise, because at this uh, age, 57. Uh, it's painful to me. He's a man of the people. He's a man of God. He's a man that believes in giving to the poor. He's a man that believes in taking care of the less privileged. And he's a true man of God, if I may just say. We also remember him that he's a man that have given so many prophecies that came to pass about Nigeria, about some personality, about other countries, African countries, European countries and all over the world. We will remember him for that. A man who also, we remember him also as a man that almost all, almost all the church leaders criticize him because they cannot do what he is doing. I remember him for his giving mindset. He's a giver and he also taught me to give. He made me understand that giving is, is what God loves most. He, I listened to one of his um, messages today. He was talking about making other people happy. Like, your happiness doesn't really matter. It's the, the smile you put on other people's face that matters. So when I, when I saw his message, I was really touched. Like, okay, this is a very great message from this man of God. And his departure really saddens all of us. We are all really um, sad about his demise. It's not, it's not a good one for us. He's a true man of God, so the body of Christ will miss him because he's a man that has truly worked for the gospel in making sure that the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ goes around the world. So 57 to me, as far as uh, T.P. Joshua is concerned, he did well and he has fulfilled the destiny. He has fulfilled the assignment that God has given to him.
All right, and there you have it. Those are the reactions from the streets of Lagos concerning Prophet T.B. Joshua, who lost his life on Sunday, June 6. My name is Imar Lyon, and you can keep watching QED for more information. Follow us on our social media platforms. Go on YouTube, click like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for joining us.